everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve, and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now, in our last build, we went video game when we did the Hylian Shield from The Legend of Zelda. Uh, if you missed that build, we're going to include the link to our channel's homepage in the description below so you can go check out Hylian Shield or any of the other super cool builds that you might have missed. Um, and now for this build, we're going to go mythical, and it's ancient. I don't know if you can put it in one category or the, or the other. Uh, let's go with medieval ancient. So without further ado, Black Sheep Props would like to introduce you to the newest member of the family. Ha <laughs> ha! That's right. Check out that bad boy. The Valkyrie helmet. Man, oh man. Look at that. Mm-mm steel weathered helmet and let's face it one of the most iconic helmets in the history of the universe the valkyrie helmet with the big wings tons of crazy detail on those wings we've got all of our little banding strips everywhere we've got our pointy spike at the top we've got our cool scrolly detail bits this thing is super cool so in this episode making an eva foam Valkyrie Helmet Part 1. We're going to begin going step by step through how to make it. And by the way, we have a template for this build as well, so we're going to include the link in the description below for our storefront. So if you want to go pick up a template, you can build along with us and make your own Valkyrie Helmet. Um, but if you don't want to build along, you just want to lay back and chill and watch it, that's cool too. Uh, so, heck, if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. All right, here's where we start building our Valkyrie helmet. We've got our half inch thick foam, that's 12 millimeter. And we're going to use that for the main pieces of the helmet. Like that, and we're gonna come in, we're gonna start right there. Wow. Perfect. That All right. Now we're just going to continue cutting through these the same way. We're going to uh, We can totally do this with the exacto knife, but since we have a bandsaw, we're going to use it. All right, there we go. Perfectly cut out. Nice 90 degree edge. All right, there's the main three pieces for the top of our helmet. You've seen us do this before. We did this with the Viking helmet. Get this nice and heated up. All right, there we go, check that out. It's got a nice curve to it this way and this way, both. We're going to do each of the four arms separately. So we're going to come in here, get this side heated up. Come over to this side, get this side heated up. All right, there we go. We got a slight curve on all of our pieces. Now we're going to begin contact cementing them together. Get a nice smooth layer down in here. We're gonna to try to get as far into this crevice as we can. Piece of foam, smooth it into the corner. Now we know we got it all the way in the corner. All right, now we're gonna come on to this side and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna let this set up for a few minutes and when it's good and ready, we're gonna stick it together. All right, here we go. Nice and easy. We're gonna start down here at the bottom. We're going to, very important, to try to line our, our seam up as clean as possible. And we're gonna get in here to line our registration marks up. So that, gotta squeeze it in a little bit each time. Here we go. Looks like we're gonna be right on the money. Here we go, we're gonna line up at the end and there we go. Pretty cool. Squeeze. 
squeeze our foam in so that we get the end lined up just like that. There we go. All right, there we go. Give it a few minutes. We're going to line up our, our edge here so it's flush, just like that. And you got to really wrestle this stuff to get it in line. There we go. All right, look at that. Man, is that tight. Okay, now we've got to really wrestle here. Look at that. We've got a long way to go to get that foam in place for the registration mark to line up right there. Wow, we really wrestled that thing in place. Wow. And our end went right together perfectly. Didn't really have to wrestle there at all. You got to decide who's going to be the boss. You or the foam. All right, dig it. We're going to curve it a little bit. Just we're going to curl it. Just like that. we'll let it cool off a little bit. Okay, here we go. See that? We got a slight curve in the, that piece, and the reason we're doing that is we're going to be sticking this on the helmet like this, and we just don't want it to fight us. So, roughly here, just layer of glue going down. All right, here we go. Now we're going to start with our little mark we made in the center. All right, so there we go. See that? We're stuck down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lay this down right along our seam, just like that. Look at that. All right. We took our helmet and we measured how long our piece needs to be to wrap around and connect, which we did. Ready? Transferred our template over to our foam. Now we're going to slide right through here, follow our curve around. There it is. We're going to soften it so we can curl it a little bit. We don't want Just like that. And we're going to hold it. All right, just a slight little curl just to help us when we come in and attach, just like that. All right. Just like that. And like that. All right. We're gonna bend our foam to get it in that gap right there. Look at that, sweet, we did it. We line. The shell of our helmet. Okay, we have a little problem that we need to fix. Actually, it's not really a problem. The helmet fits perfectly. We're gonna redesign just this back piece so that it flares out a little bit on the back. So it's not so tight up against a person's neck. And uh, so what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to remove this piece of foam. Now there's a couple ways you could do that. We could come in with our heat gun. We could bring this in and we could use it and we could really heat this up a lot right here and the glue would start to separate and we could peel it right apart and it would be perfect. But once we get around to here and we start getting close to these seams, we don't want these seams separating because that would be a total disaster. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to come in with something sharp and we're just going to cut it out through here, all the way around to here, and out. And then we'll just repeat, uh, we'll replace the piece. That's it. Should be. We're going to start a cut right down the seam, just a little bit in. I'm not going to go all the way through, just a little bit. I'll show you why, because we want to... There we go, we got it started. Now we've got something to follow. We can go right through it like that. Watch this. Boop. All right, look at that, perfect. That is perfect. All right. See that? All right. Got it started, now let's go through. All 
All right, dig it. Restored back to the original state of the helmet before we attach the back piece. And we're now we're gonna come in with our new piece. And if you notice, what we did here was, notice the line across the top is straight here and straight here. Now what we're gonna do is we've redesigned it to be slightly, slightly curved here, and these two fan out. We're gonna cut a bevel cut on part of the back of this. Not the whole thing, because when it comes around to this side, we want it in there straight. We want a 90 degree cut for here and here on this whole back side on both sides. But as it gets near the middle, we want the cut to be a little bit beveled so it flares it out a little bit. So we're gonna kind of guesstimate. Roughly here we want it straight and roughly here we want it beveled. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to come in and we're going to start cutting down at this end on a 90 degree angle. And as we approach our area, we're gonna slowly tip the blade and go through on a bevel. And then when we get near the end, we're gonna slowly stand it back up straight and go out the side. So it should. And as we approach our line, we're going to slightly tip our knife. See that? Now we're tipped. Start to stand the knife back up straight. See that? Now the knife is up straight. Keep this up so we can curl it a little bit. Just so it's Give it a few minutes before we make contact. All right, that is nice. Okay, now what we have is this. Now we have a slight flare at the back of the helmet. So this was kind of tough replacing a piece, but not terrible because this will be covered. This will be covered to about there and then that piece of the seam will have a metal strip around it so no one will see it. And we've cut a 3 16 inch strip. And we'll lay it down this way and this way right over our line like that. There we go. That's simple and we're gonna go all the way around covering our seam. We drew our two guidelines that come up to the center point where our spike is going to be. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come in with our glue and we're going to glue our strips down. Just like, all right, well, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna come in here with our quick seal. And we're going to come right down here like this, filling in our seams, getting completely filled in wherever we had a gap. We did all of our seams with our quick seal. I know we used super glue for the first little strip we put on, but we contact cemented these two strips. We contact cemented right through here. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes and we're gonna stick it. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna come in on this side. We traced out our little detail piece that's going to go around the edge of the front of the helmet. So we want this piece to already be bent when we cut it, and then these long pieces we can shape around the eye pieces. So we're just gonna roll right through our Sharpie mark. All right, we've got this cemented and the strip around the front of our helmet. So we'll give it a couple minutes. Now, we gotta be careful with this because we don't want anything touching down before we're ready. So we're gonna line up our edge right here and right here. Lay this down.
All right, now we're going to come right to the corner here and we're going to cut our angled cut just like that. That is pretty cool. There we go. All right, there we go. We've got the strip done and the edge around the helmet done. Give it a few. All right, there we go. We've got the trim around the bottom edge the middle and the two top pieces. All right, there we go. We've got more of our details transferred over to our two millimeter foam. Almost. All right, now comes the fun part. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we traced our template. So it's the inside of our Sharpie line that's the accurate template, not the outside. We're going to keep our knife standing straight up because we want to spin our foam around and we're going to pivot around all these curves. So stop right there and then let me show you what we did. All right, see that? That is beautiful. It's that easy. Just take your time. Look at that. Wow, was that nice. And that is now we're just going to do these three. All of our scrolly pieces are cut out, took our time, kept our... All right, there we go. We got both of our pieces cemented. We're going to give it a couple minutes. Okay, now what we did was we put a little mark on here just so we know where to begin sticking this scrolly piece down. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in with our super glue. Just like that. We just put a couple little marks there just to help us as a guide. Like that. Nice. There we go. All right, now we're going to do the same thing. Now, once again, we put a light Sharpie mark down so that when we're sticking this, we know it's going to go exactly where we want it to go. All right, All right. there we go. Gee whiz, look at that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to put this piece on the front. And we don't want there to be these little recessed spots there because we don't want it to look too bent. So what we're going to do is we cut these little extra pieces and we're going to lay them in right there like that. So when we put this down and we stick it, it'll have a flat piece to rest on. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here with our super glue. All right, see that? Don't need a template for that. You just cut a little piece to fit it in there, just like that. All right, there we go. Got them both cemented. Now we're gonna give it a couple minutes and then bam, contact. Very nice. Now what we're going to do is, the way we have these two strips right here, we're going to continue these strips over to the back, here and here. So we're going to make a guideline, cut another 3 16 inch strip for each, and... All right, we took our template for our centerpiece, transferred it over. Now, we've got our knife tilted so that we can get a nice bevel cut. 
Ooh, nice. All right, now we're going to come in through here, and we're going to Now check that out. Got a nice little beveled edge right here at the front. Little detail, but it's going to look good. All right, so we're going to be sticking this down right about there. This is going to be coming down to the center part of the helmet. So what we're going to need to do there is we're going to need to, from there to there, and from there to there. Just like that. And just like that. Now, so we're gonna come in with our X-Acto knife, go right through, now come to this side, go right through. Now, now this will go right in there like that. That is perfect. Then this will come and lay down at the front, right to there. Wow, very nice. Perfect. All right quick little line just to know where we want to contact some at. Give it a couple minutes. I'm going to slide right in here. Time to make contact just like that. Get it started. We're just All right, there we go. All right, there you go. We've got the whole top portion of the helmet assembled. Uh, did the top cap part, did the face guard, did the whole neck piece. Uh, we began laying down our little metal stripping everywhere, did our scrolly bits, and uh, you saw how that was kind of meticulous, but it wasn't hard. As long as you stand the knife up and you pivot around, piece of cake. Um, so far, so good. Uh, so that concludes making an EVA foam Valkyrie helmet part one. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.